Hey everybody, it is the Last Raider. We are back. Oh boy. And you know there's this game that I play. It's called Conan Exiles. And in there there's a mechanic which is uh, known as corruption. In which uh, you go to certain areas that have, you know, they have a lot of uh, evil in them. And you will slowly but surely, depending on the intensity of it, you'll gain corruption. Uh, if you go towards uh, certain stones, you will get corrupted. If you go inside of certain cities and dungeons, you get this corruption. And it negatively affects your health. In other words, it lowers your health and stamina and makes it harder for you to fight. Until, of course, you go out and you have a dancer in your base. And you go to your dancer and the dancer dances and they entertain you and whatnot. And then your corruption slowly but surely bleeds off of you and goes away. <clears throat> That's what this picture feels like right now. On the right side of the screen, I have everything in Marvel that corrupts your very soul and makes it harder for you to even consider life. And then on the left... You have your dancer, which takes away all the corruption. And you go back, you can only look at the right side of the screen as long as I keep going back to the left side of the screen and taking away the cringe that I'm having to deal with right now. Miss Marvel is now my anti-cringe uh, dancer. All right, I can look at her and all the cringe just goes away. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Anyway... This is what we're dealing with in Marvel current year. For those of you that are normies looking at this, this is the same character. Yeah, one looks like uh, homoerotic Sephiroth. The other one actually looks like she would be someone normal. Okay? At least a chick you would find in real life. Uh, you know, <clears throat> visibly a woman. All right? But this is what happens when you let SJWs into your into your fandom. It's a primary example. It's a prime example of, you know, politics taking the forefront instead of the story. When you have the story getting put on the back burner to push some form of politics, you keep ending up with dull, drab. I mean, you look at the, just the poses of these two characters. One looks like they're in, looks like they're being dynamic. It looks powerful. She looks like she's not afraid of anything. She show, one, she's showing everything off. She's not afraid. I mean, a woman being able to dress however she wants to dress, <clears throat> back in the 90s was considered empowerment. If a woman, it's one of the things, I think it's one of the primary reasons of slut walk was to protest the way that women were told to when they would be raped was to be, to, I could be wrong on that. I'm not, I'm not totally correct. I'm probably not totally correct on that. So don't take my word for it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, <clears throat> but I'm sorry. I've had a cough this week, but I think one of the reasons for slut walk was for women to walk around and whatever they wanted and to try and break through the stigma of, well, you know, she was wearing that. That's what, well, look at the way she was dressed. That's why she was raped. I would, and to some extent I would agree with that. I don't agree with the slut walk itself, but I do agree that what a woman wears should not determine a man's is not a, de a determination of a man's actions. Which is why I also don't believe don't like Islam to an extent. Because they take that same concept and go to the very extreme with it on the opposite end of the spectrum. But like I said, you have this homoerotic Sephiroth character over here that looks like they're in the middle of an AA meeting. Hi. <coughs> I mean, you have, yeah, I'm a badass. I'm coming to save the world. You got nothing to worry about, too. Hi. My name is Sephiroth. Um, I'm here at Mako Addicts Anonymous today. I just want to say I've been several, I've been almost five years Mako free. And I haven't had, a, I haven't had the need to go out there and destroy the world. And, and I, I feel good about myself, but sometimes it's hard and I'm fixing to fall off the wagon. So, <coughs> it's making me sick. I have to look back at this other Carol Danvers and talk about something else. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. it make, you can tell when I cough on this video because that's when I'm coughing. That's when I start, that's when my eye starts to go over to the right side of the screen. It's so toxic. Ah. 
You know, they're both supposed to be a woman. That There's not been a sex change done. As I said, this is when politics take over. This is when you have this person who does not care about a story, doesn't care about a character. The character's only real purpose is to serve. They're, they're supposed to adapt and serve. I've said this before. SJWs are like the Borg. This is a primary example. This is what they do. They go in and they completely take away everything that makes a character you know, dynamic, visually appealing, and all this good stuff. And they'll take it and get rid of it, and then they'll push this nonsense. <coughs> yeah, I looked at I looked at homoerotic Sephiroth again. I'm tired of it. I'm just trying. At this point, I'm just trying to get through the video. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Oh my god, it's so bad. But no, you have to put. Politics aside, a good story can stand on its own merit, honestly. Uh, look at Terminator and the Joker. Uh, all right. Joker, I don't think, has seen before the domestic, before, uh, not domestic, not before domestic, before going overseas, Joker has now made almost a billion dollars. Terminator has been all over the world, and it's not even going to clear 300 million at this point. Okay. And both of them have, I would say Joker probably has a slightly smaller budget than Terminator did. And it's made more money. It's just commitment to the story and not pushing politics all the time. Terminator, Woke Fate. I'm not calling it Dark Fate. I'm calling it Woke Fate. You look at it, it's, oh, hey, we got to have Mexicans. Oh, we got to have a female character that looks like the nonsense on the right of your screen here. <coughs> Frank, I looked at Cap. I looked at Captain Marvel again. Oh my God! <laughs> this should be a drinking game. <laughs> how many times I cough on here is how many times you have to take a drink. Oh my God! Oh man, it's it is like I said, it's corrupting your soul. You have to go back over here to Miss Marvel, and I mean, it's like I'm looking at Miss Marvel. I'm going down. I'm checking her out completely, and it, it's awesome. No problems. If I look over to the right of my screen, I'm going to go into a coughing fit again. But, I mean, this is this is the state of comics. This is why you can't sell comic books in the modern era, because they're all political. They're pushing a narrative. They're trying to browbeat you. In short, when you go to comic books, it's no longer, hey, I'm going to get my cereal, and I'm going to sit down with my new comic book on Saturday morning, I'm going to read my new comic book like Dad reads his paper. And then um, I'm going to watch cartoons. Now it's, we have to go to the Catholic Church. But Mother, why do we have to go to church? Because, child, if they don't, they will declare you a witch and burn you at the stake. It's it's horrible now. I mean, that's, that's the way comic books have now become. They're not fun anymore. The big two barely make any fun comic books. I have seen very few of them anymore. Used to, they all were at least somewhat fun to look at. The standard was really high. Now the standard's so low, a comic book back in the 90s, that would have been considered stu I would have been considered a, a horrible story is now considered pretty doggone good. <sighs> but anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think, do you think that... Uh, politics do hurt comic books do you like the politics do you not uh do you like the video tell me in the comments uh also how many of you guys coughed at the horrible homoerotic captain marvel over here instead of uh and felt better when you were looking at uh miss marvel let me know in the comments i would like to that's the question i want answered actually uh be sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel hit the bell for notification and i'm the last raider keep your head on a swivel stay frosty and i'll see you guys next time